Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha, for those of you who are new here. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. The link is below. So today I am back with my July favorites. I got a lot of stuff. Um, some of the stuff trickles in from June um, because I didn't do one in June. I didn't do this video. I just kind of skipped over it. Um, I had some other things I wanted to share and I figured I could do it in July anyway. Um, it's pretty early around here and um, I'm still waking up, so bear with me. I know I'm looking a little sleepy today, but um, this is as good as it's getting for this video. So let's start with beauty stuff first, bathroom stuff, that kind of stuff. Um, these puff fresh faces, have you guys seen these? These are like all natural saline with aloe and vitamin E, um, and they're just a towelette. Now I've used them all. But I love these. Now, they don't really remove, like, waterproof mascara that well. They will get some of the makeup off your face, um, but I still like a makeup remover. But these are great, like, when um, Say Jackson comes in from playing basketball or something and he's sweaty. He can wipe off his face with one of these. Same goes with Scott. I like um, using them, basically, I know that sounds weird, on Mondays because I clean on Monday. Um, I do our weekly cleaning and I get hot and I get tired. And when I'm done with the second floor, I like to take a couple of these across my face, my hands, and they just freshen me up. Um, you cannot flush these, um, but they really are soothing. They feel amazing on the skin. You guys should try these, especially if you work out. They will feel amazing when you're done, just kind of cleaning up. So those are definitely a favorite this year. This year. This week. This month. Ah. Okay. Okay. So, the Clear All Nice and Easy in Natural Extra Light Neutral Blonde is something I've been kind of experimenting with. So, I'm lightening my hair up, but I'm doing it gradually because basically the roots are gray. But I really, really, really like the Nice and Easy formula. It really does give you highlights and underlights um, and what's it say? Let's see. Tones and highlights. Um, and this one took my brown hair down pretty much. I had to use two boxes, but it worked pretty well. And you can see there's some different highlights um, and obviously some pieces of my darker hair that kind of fall through. But it's super simple. Two boxes does my hair. My hair is growing and it's super thick. I actually just cut off like three inches the other night. Um, and I'm just kind of, you know, using this. I don't use a lot on my hair and I don't feel really bad about coloring it. The nice and easy is really nice and easy. So I'm loving that. Another hair care product I love is Nexus. I'm a Nexus fan. I mean, I'm almost a fanatic. Um, I do use other ones. You'll see a few other, well, at least one other um, item I use. But Nexus is my go-to product. And I received this um, Color Assurance Primer, Shampoo, and Conditioner. Um, I used it, and I really, really liked it. I will definitely buy this in the store. Um, right now, I'm using the Nexus, like, Hydrate um, Shampoo and Conditioner. But this was a good one, especially if you're like me and color your hair. So, another hair care product is the Aussie 3-Minute Moist. Now, I like this, and another item items that I've used up the past few months are these Macadamia Deep Hair Mask Samples. I got these at beautychoice.com. I put up a whole video on it, um, and you can get these for a couple dollars a piece. I'm sorry, you guys. I know some of you guys are probably fanatics about the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I've heard so many people say they love it. My best friend loves it. I personally think you can get the exact same with the Aussie Moist. This doesn't do anything special for my hair. I'm not impressed, and I definitely would not pay $30 for the full size. However, the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle, um, it's a deep intensive treatment and it leaves your hair smelling amazing it's super smooth super um moist and i love it so i really think not so much on these and definitely just pick up one of these and you'll get basically the same effect um and i'm one who believes you don't have to spend a lot on hair care products to have nice hair i do really like the nexus but the aussie line the pantene line all are great i i love them um a friend recommended that I try the Women's Mitchum Clinical, 
and um, I usually use an all-natural deodorant. I know this does probably have aluminum in it. I didn't even read it because I just assumed it did. Um, it contains two times the level of oxygen to keep you smelling fresh. As your body heat rate rises, pure oxygen, a powerful odor fighter, is released. Um, what I really like about it is... I definitely like the powder fresh smell, which you can find in almost any deodorant. But, um... It has that oxygen odor control technology. And so far, I have really, really been enjoying this. Um, it says for maximum protection, apply it to your underarms before going to bed. It works while you sleep, providing long-lasting protection that will last throughout the day, even after showering. And it can also be applied in the morning. I'm actually rather impressed with this. I, I really am. Um, it's worked well for me. I haven't had any, like, breakthrough sweating. I haven't been stinky. And she was right. It works amazing. Um, let's see. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette has been my go-to this past month. It's beautiful. Look at those colors. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing champagne all over the lid. I think that's the color. And then I'm wearing this one in the crease. And I darkened it up with this one just a little bit in the crease. And that was it. And I took um, the darker tone right under my lash line. You guys can do so much with this. And it smells so good. It smells like chocolate. Totally in love. This palette is amazing. The soft. The shadows are soft and blendable. They just are really, really nice. I love it. So that's been a go-to favorite, makeup-wise. And so has the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. So I bought this a few weeks ago, and I used it in the past. Um, this is not my first time, but I forgot, you guys, what a beautiful foundation this is. It's amazing. The staying power is amazing. This one is a number 200 sand beige and I thought it was going to be too dark. I usually never wear any foundation with sand in it. I'm rather pale and it's just beautiful and it's got a beautiful finish. It doesn't seem as drying to me as just the regular color stay um, but it's a good foundation, and it's definitely been a favorite. You can find it at your local drugstore. It's not that expensive, and if you do get the wrong color, you can always take it back, exchange it for the right color. Um, all the drugstore lines um, allow those kind of returns, um, and I have no trouble returning something, even after I tried it, just because if it doesn't work, why keep it? Go find something that does. Another all-time favorite is the Nuisance um, Rose Hip Balm, Hydrating Rose petal hydrating balm, excuse me. I got like five of these, and this is a new one. It's just amazing. It leaves my lips soft. I love the slight smell of roses. I put it on before bed, and I just slather it on my lips. I never have dry lips. I never have chapped lips, um, and I use other things too sometimes, but this has been a favorite for a few years. I don't believe you can find it anywhere else other than CVS, because I think it's just a CVS brand. You know, the Selma Kayak, I think they're the ones exclusively carrying it. But, um, if I'm wrong about that, you can leave that in the comments, but definitely try this if you, um, are a lip junkie or a lip balm junkie. This is really nice. <laughs> I've talked about it a lot of times. I also tried out the Harvey Prince Hello perfume, um, and it was so fruity. It came in a little sample. It smelled really nice, um, and I just, I can smell it on the card. It smells fruity. Um, you can smell some citrus in it. I don't know. It just smells like summer. And so I might end up buying the full size of this. I haven't really decided yet because I don't wear a ton of perfume, but I really liked it. This it smelled so so nice. Okay, let's see. Of course, you guys know me, so I'll just show you. Advil PM, lots of bottles of Advil PM. Helps me sleep. Um, I broke in a car wreck. Um, 
in 2000, I believe, broke both shoulders, my collarbone, my pelvic, and had a compound fracture in my ankle. So going to sleep for me is not that easy. I have aches and pains, and plus we're getting, at least I'm getting older. Um, and Advil PM just helps relax me, helps, you know, soothe sore muscles, and helps get me to sleep easily. So it's not, you know, prescription anymore. I used up another one of the Neutrogena Rain Bass. This stuff is just amazing. It does have a musty scent to it. And most of the time, I'm not a huge fan of musty scents at all. But it's so refreshing. My my husband smells amazing when he comes out of the shower, you know, after he uses this. Same with my son. I know I smell the same way. We usually buy the really big bottles. You can sometimes find the huge ones at Walmart or at Sam's. But these last a long time and... They just smell so good, and I love it. So, if you haven't tried the Neutrogena Rain Bath, maybe you should. More beauty favorites. The last two are the Avon A New Skin Vincible Deep Recovery Cream and Multi Shield Lotion. Now, these are just the sample sizes. I have the full ones upstairs. I think I already did a review on these. They are so nice, you guys, and I'm just overall impressed with how well they were leaving my skin, how well deep and moisturizing the nighttime one is, and the daytime one has some SPF in it. I just like to put it on and put my makeup right over it. My make makeup does not crackle through it. I don't look caked up, um, and it doesn't give too much flashback on the um, nighttime, or daytime one, I'm sorry, with the SPF. But there is a little bit, so be careful if you're going to be using this in photographing, um, taking pictures. Um, because it will give you a little bit of a flashback if you put too much on. But um, the SPF is 50. It's definitely got a good SPF. And so far, I have just been loving both of those. So that is it for beauty. Let me kind of get my stuff cleaned up here. And we'll move right on into household. So I recently had a stopped up sink in my bathroom. And... You know, Mr. Plumber is expensive. I kept forgetting to buy it, and you can't find it usually, you know, at the Dollar Tree or anything. But while I was at the Dollar Tree, this Mr. Plumber, which is the off-brand, um, was sitting there. It is 32 fluid ounces, and I decided, you know, why not just try it um, because it was right there and convenient. So it said says to pour a half a bottle in and allow it to work for 15 minutes. I didn't do that. I used the entire bottle. I allowed it to work for like 30 minutes and then flushed it with hot water. The stuff worked brilliantly. I don't ever think I need to buy that expensive one anymore. This was straight from the Dollar Tree. It was $1. It unclawed my bathroom sink with no problems and it quickly became a favorite of mine. So if you're somebody who has long hair or pet hair or your drains clog up, don't spend all the money. Get the cheaper one. It works. I promise. Um... Now, I use different things in my laundry. I have softener sheets. I have some other things I use. But one of the things I do like is the Bounce Dryer Bars. Um, and it says it lasts for two months. It lasts about a little over a month for me. But we do a ton of laundry. And there's five in one benefits. It says it says it freshens your clothes. It controls static. It softens fabrics. Helps repel pet hair. And works automatically. It just goes into your dryer. It's got a little... Um, peel and stick, um, what's it called, like, clip that holds the, the mounts, the dryer bar, and this really does save money. You don't have to buy fabric softener sheets. That's not necessary anymore, um, and this is a quick one. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, putting them in every time, and I like these, so I do have it going in my dryer right now. Another thing we've used and has been a favorite is the Kingsford wood chips and hickory. Now, these were very expensive. I think they were like less than $5. Mm. They smell amazing and they work so nice on your food. I know I did the bigger can chicken on these, but we've also done burgers. And um, I'm going to be using this for a turkey breast that I'm going to actually grill out. And it's going to be like a hickory turkey breast. So it's going to be smoked on the grill. These um, wood chips are really easy to use. You just soak them 
light them on fire, and um, the smoke just engulfs whatever you're cooking. You need less than what you think, um, but they are really nice. And I don't know how many of you guys use these during the summer, but you can use them with a gas or charcoal grill, and they'll make your food taste amazing. They've been a big, big favorite. Another favorite was the Seek Basics Extra Large Drying Mat. I got this a while back. It's just the red one, and it looks almost identical to the one I to the one in the picture. I had one like this, um, and it just wasn't as big, and it was green. This one is like it says, extra large. It's a microfiber towel, and it's got like this mesh on it. It holds four times the weight in water, you know, the water that would drip on your counter. Um, and we do hand dishes sometimes. We use the dishwasher a lot. There's only a few things, or I'm um, maybe baking or something. We usually use the dishwasher, but we always seem to use our drying rack too. And this just goes underneath it and it's washable and I've just fallen in love with the microfiber drying rack, or drying uh, mats for your dishes in the kitchen. I love them. Um, let's see. The Pledge Multi-Surface, now this one's empty. Um, this one is the antibacterial, but they have a few from this line. They have an antibacterial one. They got some different Febreze. They got the um, original. I absolutely adore this. I love using it on my TVs, my electronics. I've used it on my cameras, my computer screens. However, it's fine to use on wood. It's fine to use on your kitchen counters. I'm serious. You could just buy like two of these and have as much cleaning stuff as you need if you really wish. Um, it's it's good for anything and windows, doors. It's just a great all-purpose cleaner. It works on marble. It works on chrome, plastic, um, and this one in particular kills 99% of germs. We're not there yet, but soon we'll, we all will, well, at least most of us, will be getting into flu season when the cool weather starts. And um, I just bought one. It's not the antibacterial, but I will definitely be buying more antibacterial ones as we get into fall and winter. The stuff is great, you guys, and it's not harmful to any of your electronics. Now, into food, I got a few food items, not a ton, four or five, I guess. I'm still drinking and loving the Numi Organic Honey Brush Tea. I'm trying to finish it up. This was a favorite of mine for the past two or three weeks. It just has an amazing honey taste, and it doesn't require that you sweeten it up, even though I use some of the rock um, sugar to sweeten it. It doesn't need that. It is a bag tea, so it's great if you want to take some, you know, put some in your purse and maybe take some to the office with you. Or if you're traveling, you could definitely take some of your um, favorite tea with you, at least this brand, because it is a bag tea. Um, but it's really delicious. I think I've raved about it before. This is my second box, and I'm trying to get it finished up. It's really yummy. Try it. The California Olive Ranch um, Extra Virgin Olive Oil has been um, a favorite of mine for a few months. It's got a wonderful flavor. It's code pressed. Um, it's 100% California grown olives, um, and it's just really delicious. And the green distinct bottle um, keeps the olive oil fresher longer, so I really like that. And um, I've bought this. It's not too overpriced. You know, olive oil can be expensive. Um, a bottle like this will last me probably close to a month, depending on what I'm cooking. And I just love it. So I think it's worth the price. It's 120 calories per tablespoon. But it's the healthy oil. It's oil that's healthy for your heart. And if you're going to cook, this is a good one. So definitely try that. These um, Kami Japanese Thick Noodles, they're all natural. Um, we used these in a um, stir fry not too long ago. They are delicious. They are easy to use. They are thick. They cook up easily, and my entire family loves these. I found these at the um, grocery store in the Asian aisle, and we really love them. Another thing my family loved, which I don't think I tried, was the... Um, DiGiorno Italian-style meat trio pizza. 
both of the boys truly love this. They ate every piece, and I'm not huge on frozen pizzas. I've just never been, but these are delicious pizzas, and um, they take about 20 minutes to make. This one had Italian sausage, pepperoni, and salami, um, and they're just a beautiful pizza when you bring them out of the oven. They look amazing, and they're delicious. Then, another item I got at Walmart, which you guys let me know, reminded me that Nice is a Walgreens brand, but they're selling it at Walmart. These were a dollar, and I decided to try the buffalo-style chicken wings. And I thought, you know, a dollar, whatever. They are delicious. The boys love them. I love them. The only thing I wish is that I would have bought, like, three or four more boxes. So, I was happy I could find these at Walmart. They were really cheap, and they were really fast and easy to make. We just popped them in the microwave. We dipped them in ranch and blue cheese, and I'm telling you what, they were really good. So, don't pass them up if you want to, you know, a snack. The last food item I got was the Santa Cruz Organic Lemonade that I want to talk to you about. Now, um, this is truly organic, and it's gluten-free, it says. They also um, have a bunch of other organic products, the Santa Cruz, and it's 90 calories per eight ounces of, um, eight ounces, and the ingredients were so simple. It's got filtered water, organic sugar, organic lemon juice, um, organic lemon juice concentrate, and organic natural lemon flavor, and this is one of the best pre-made lemon juices, I've, or lemon juices, lemonades I've ever ever had. It's delicious. Now, I still have a little bit more. The boys drink a little bit of it. Um, I love it, and it's just absolutely delicious. I was shocked. I was a little nervous. I, this was a little bit more expensive, so I was kind of nervous that I would buy it and not like it. I'm not a huge fan of any kind of processed juice. I will drink a little processed apple, but processed orange juice I don't drink. Um, I don't drink lemonade that is processed. It just tastes awful to me. This has the fresh taste. You can definitely serve it up with just some fresh lemon slices, which I've done. And also, you can add a little bit of vodka to make it more adult-like if you wanted, you know, an evening nightcap or something, which I've done, and it's delicious. So, that is it for the household. Oh, no, there's one more. This came... Oh my gosh, it's amazing. This came in one of my subscription boxes. This is the first blush candle cube, and it smelled so nice. I burned it all up. Um, it says, experience the flush that comes with a passionate first kiss with a first blush. And it comes from greenleafsandgifts.com, um, and... I love it. I'm going to definitely order a larger version of it. If you guys have tried anything from greenleafgifts.com, let me know. Um, and if you have any questions about any of the products that I've shown in this video, um, let me know. I'm not going to do an in-depth blog post with links to everyone, but if you have a question about where to find something, leave it below and I'll put the link in the comment back to you. Um, usually I do do an in-depth blog post, but that's when I break it up. Household versus beauty. This is just beauty and household and it would just be so much and um, I'm just not going to do it but again if you have any questions you can definitely um, leave those below and I'll answer them I promise so let's move into pets um, and I will do a video I'm going to do an in-depth video about my dog Cooper he's a golden retriever he's having some major health problems with switching over his diet I'm going to be doing like a bi-weekly series probably on the dinner the lunches and dinners he's eating my dog and snacks but some new dog foods we've been trying now and I want to talk about a few of them in those videos but I will say and I've already shown this in some hauls the blue wilderness um, high protein duck well natural evolutionary diet with life source bits duck recipe is a really nice dog food for him now I'm not going to be keeping this um, his his go-to dog food. It's pretty expensive for um, how many ounces? For 24 pounds, um, this was $53. But it is a favorite because he has been eating it up. It's definitely packed full of blueberries and um, 
vitamins and sweet potatoes and blackberries and pomegranate and duck. And um, this has been definitely a favorite. But stay tuned for more about the dog um, if you're interested in a video. I know, I know not all of you guys are going to enjoy that, um, that series. But I know so many of you guys also love your pets like we do. And we are really trying to put him on a all-natural, human-grade diet. And he's got lots of vitamins and medicines. He has epilepsy. It just started at seven years old. And we are targeting that. That's why those videos are going to go up for maybe other people dealing with epilepsy. Or maybe someone else um, wanting to put their dog on a different diet. I'm going to show you what we're doing. Another thing we got was the full moon U.S. made human grade chicken jerky. And... The ingredients on these, where are they? I found it before, um, are chicken, brown rice syrup, flaxseed oil, and green tea extract. That's it. And you could definitely eat one of these um, if you wanted to. It's on their website. You could definitely try them out. I found these again at Walmart, and I was super happy about it because even though, you know, Walmart is not the best. It's not PetSmart. It's not your vet's office. It's not a feed store. They are starting to carry better food. I know that um, the Blue Wilderness dog food I just showed you is grain-free. They have a dog food um, Pure Balance, which is also grain-free, um, but... These all-natural dog treats, they look like this. We just break it in half. Um, they're all-natural, four ingredients, and our dog loves them. So there are healthy options that you can find even at your local Walmart. This is one of ours. And um, we'll probably be trying some other all-natural dog foods um, and definitely some more all-natural treats. But for right now, he is on the Blue Wilderness and the Full Moon um, Human Grade 100%. USA made um, full moon chicken jerky. I'm just trying to read. They got so many things. Um, and we're also going to be switching over the cats now. Sorry, let me grab some stuff. Um, it's definitely important to get all your animals on good food. Um, one of the foods that we have been feeding them is the Perino Ones for sensitive systems. Same goes with Imes. I don't have any of the bags because one is actually still full. The Imes sensitive systems. We've also fed them some of the Fancy Feast. This is their favorite. And then I also tried a Perino Cat Chow in Gentle because, you know, I have four cats. They have long hair. I throw up hairballs, and I've just been trying to, you know, give them food that is easier for their system. However, the vet let me know that one in four cats become diabetic, whereas one in 25 dogs become diabetic. So it's, you know, higher chance for cats. I have four cats, and I'm going to be switching over their food, but I have to say they were tolerating the Purina one for sensitive systems, I think, better than any of the other ones. I'm going to try a new organic um, food for the cats, high protein, um, low carbohydrate, or maybe grain free. I'm not sure, but I will let you guys know how they like that, but they have seriously been enjoying the Purina one for sensitive systems, but if I had to speak for my cats, I know that they love the Fancy Feast with savory chicken and turkey. It's the purple one. It's not so healthy. Um, it does say it's complete um, and balanced, nutritionally complete and balanced. That is perfect for everyday cat or, or feeding, but there are cat foods that are better than both of these, and we are going to make the change with the cats, too. So that is it on favorites, except for um, my life planner. I don't have any books to share with you this time. I have um, been reading The Conscious Parent. I'll let you guys know about that. Um, it's been a busy week for me. This is what this week looks like. I got some notes hanging in here. I'll kind of move them. Come on, move out of the way. Um, but there you go. That's what this week looks like. And I'll go ahead and show you next week. It is going to be busy. We have travel times and we have lots going on. And then Jackson starts school the following Monday. So my Eric Conrad Life Planner is definitely a favorite of mine. I've been using it for a while. 
and um, it's my second life planner. They are amazing. I had a giveaway going on, um, and you can also click on my link below to my blog, and in the right sidebar, there is a um, link, and you can click on that, and you'll get $10 off your first order, so that's really nice. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And I will be back very, very soon. If you are new here, get subscribed. Give me a thumbs up. Stick around. Check out my playlist. I have lots of videos. And don't forget to check out my blog in your spare time. If you want, feel free to leave your favorites of yours below. Let me know what you kind of really like this um, this past month. Household, beauty, pet, whatever it was. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll be back with a video really soon. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. And I'm thankful you're my subscribers. Bye.